The U.S. spends $3.3 trillion on health care every year. That means more than one in every six dollars in the economy is spent in the healthcare sector. But still, 11 percent of adults in the U.S. are uninsured. These two facts are related. Healthcare becomes expensive, that makes health insurance more expensive, which means more people are unable to afford health insurance coverage. Health economics is about finding ways to lower costs while giving everyone access to high quality health care. That's what I'm focused on at Rice University. Now, competitive markets have worked well for the U.S. economy as a whole, so the majority of us actually want a market-based economy for health care. But the problem with that is that most of us rely heavily on health insurance from our, either our employer or the government to get access to costly care. And so that makes it not so much a well-functioning competitive market. You know, for example, the health insurance market doesn't work like auto insurance, where we don't think much about people who can't afford to buy coverage and have to get by without a car. Healthcare is different. We feel that everyone does need to have access to healthcare. Another problem with the healthcare market is information asymmetries. Doctors know more about treatments than patients do, and consumers know more about their health status than insurers. So we've ended up with a healthcare system that rewards providers for quantity and not quality. Doctors and hospitals are rewarded for performing expensive procedures when you get sick. They're not rewarded for keeping you well. So at Rice, we try to find ways to save costs and reward quality in healthcare, not quantity. Some of the things we're doing are looking at accountable care organizations that reward healthcare providers for providing value-based healthcare. We've done studies showing that patients who need urgent care can save substantial amounts of money going to urgent care centers and not freestanding emergency centers. And we're studying the benefits and cost to patients of vertical integration between physicians and hospitals. Physicians and scientists are making tremendous medical discoveries every day that promise to extend life and improve well-being. My goal is to identify cost-effective strategies to deliver these cures to as many patients as possible so that we can all benefit.